everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and today I'm going to be talking to you about writing settings. When you're doing descriptive writing, you really want to paint a picture for a reader that helps bring a scene to life. Whether you're in a creepy alleyway, a rowdy football game, or just relaxing in a park, you want your reader to feel like they're there with you. Let's look at this a bit further with this Writing Settings PowerPoint by Twinkle. When writing settings, a good place to start is by thinking about all five of your senses and how they'd react to your environment. For example, if you were in this lovely woodland setting, you might hear some birds chirping or hear some rustling in the bushes as animals move around. It might feel warm or humid and you might smell smells like pine, damp moss or flowers. This is an opportunity to really use your imagination, brainstorm some ideas like this and then have a go at putting them together in a paragraph. Let's take a look at another example. If you were at this lovely beach, what kinds of smells would you experience? What might you see? Is it busy or quiet? Are the waves nice and calm or are they wild? Using figurative language like similes, hyperbole, metaphors and personification can really make your descriptive writing interesting and fun to read as well. So this Twinkle PowerPoint on writing settings has five slides just like these, each with an image prompt to spark your imagination. For each one, students can have a bit of a brainstorm and write a paragraph describing each setting. This is a good warm-up activity for Key Stage 2 children who are working on their creative writing skills. And that's all for now. If you'd like to use this writing settings PowerPoint, it's available to be downloaded from the Twinkle website. Have a lovely day.